All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very special rebuilding challenge. This is going to be a trading Pascal Siakam Raptors rebuild against TKE, one of my favorite 2K rebuilders on YouTube. Uh, if you know who I am, you should definitely know who he is. But if you don't, I'm going to be leaving his video for this challenge as well as his channel links in the description down below. So definitely go check him out if you have not already. Uh, if you're coming over from TKE's channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I've been posting rebuilds every day for like the last month or so. I've been having a blast doing it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like as well as uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm currently on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so every little bit helps. So like I said, this is going to be a trading Pascal Siakam Raptors rebuild. Uh, so the way this challenge is going to work is whoever can win the most championships between TKE and I in the three-year window is going to win this uh, challenge. However, if neither one of us win the title, whoever has the better record in either or in any of the three seasons is going to win this challenge. So let's see if I can trade Pascal Siakam for the number one pick in this year's draft. Oh yeah, by the way, this rebuild is starting in the 2020 offseason. So let's see if I can get the number one pick. And what about, let's see, uh, what about Miles Bridges? So let's see, uh, Pascal Siakam for the first pick and Miles Bridges. Let's see if they will take it. They do not. What if I throw in a first round pick as well? Uh, no. Wow. Really? What about another first round picks? Two firsts in Siakam. Come on. No, wow, seriously, what about another first round pick? And wow, dude, Charlotte's gotta be nuts right now. Four for, wow, four first round picks and they still don't wanna do it. What about the second round pick? And no, wow, that is absolutely insane. So you know what, scratch that. That's too many assets anyways, don't know what I was thinking. So let's see what I can get in the player finder of the trade finder section. Okay, Devin Booker's an option. That's interesting to see, that is very enticing. Let's see, ooh, ooh okay, I see Shea immediately. Oh my goodness, okay. Shea is definitely the current front runner just because Shea is a lot cheaper than Devin Booker, so that way I can trade for a star guard while saving enough money to potentially sign someone like AD in free agency. Uh, Steph, no. Clay no. Beal, let's see. No. Wall, no. Uh, Lowry in the first, no. Thanks, don't want Wall's massive contract. And Bay, uh, Simmons, no. Embiid, no. Uh, Middleton, no. Not even going to bother trying for Giannis. Um, let's see. Levine? Uh, Lowry and, oh, okay, Lowry and two first for Levine and Gafford, that is interesting to see. I'm going to go back to that after I trade Siakam, because obviously the first thing I'm going to have to do is trade uh, Siakam. That is the current priority, that is the entire point of this video. So after I trade Siakam, I will see if the trade is still out there, and I will probably take it if it's still there. So that is a very nice trade for me, because shedding Lowry's massive deal and getting a nice young star with Zach Levine. But let's see, oh, Donovan Mitchell's out there. Okay, Mitchell for Siakam, all right, let me see if I can do this one manually. If I can get Donovan Mitchell, that'd be really, really sweet. Let's see. All right, so let's see. Donovan Mitchell for Siakam. Will the money work? No, not even close. Okay, so that's not worth it. Let me go back to that Shea Gildas Alexander one because, uh, like I said, that's the one that was in the lead because that was saving me a lot of money. Uh, Shea and Stephen Adams, I can always trade Stephen Adams immediately after the trade. So let's go on ahead and take this one from OKC, getting a star guard, a new franchise cornerstone in Shea Gildas Alexander, trading Siakam and Norman Powell to uh, Oklahoma City for Shea and Steven Adams. So welcome to the team, Shea Gildas Alexander, and this and uh, this rebuild can now officially begin. So the uh, centerpiece, Siakam, is now gone. So let's go on ahead and keep rebuilding the Toronto Raptors. So like, like I said, uh, Steven Adams is not going to be staying on this team, so let's see what I can get for him. Uh, Clint Capella right away is very enticing because that'll save me $11 million while getting a better overall center and a first round pick I believe was on that deal. Uh, Schroeder no, Thomas Bryant no, Harris no. Yeah, so I like this one for Clint Capella and I get a first round pick. Yeah, so let's take this one from the Atlanta Hawks. So welcome to the team Clint Capella. Um, he's our, now new, our, uh, our new starting center. And let's see if that trade for Zach Levine is still there for Kyle Lowry. If it's not, I will go over to Levine and see if it's there. And I don't see it here for Lowry. So let's go on ahead and go to Zach Levine and see if that trade pops up there. Because uh, if it does, I will definitely take it. Let's see, Shea, no. And yeah, okay, so there it is. So Kyle Lowry and two first round picks uh, for Zach Levine and Daniel Gafford trading away Toronto's longtime star Kyle Lowry for Zach Levine and Daniel Gafford. There we go. So we now have a nice three-headed monster of Capella, Levine, and Shea. Real quick, let me see the positions. Okay, so Levine. Okay, so Levine goes up as a, as a small forward, so I'll keep Levine there. Uh, so Levine is now a small forward. The future and present Shea is now a shooting guard. Perfect. Cool. 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 Uh, now let's see what I can do. So let's see. I think I'm done trading for players. Uh, and now let's see what draft pick I have. Um, let me see. Oh wait, what, what am I doing? Let me go back to trade finder. Let's see. I have the 23rd pick in the draft. Let's see if I can move up from that pick. Let's see, uh, nothing too eye-popping here. Yeah, nothing really too special there. So let me see if I can upgrade from here. Let's see, the 11th pick, let's see. OG in 23 for 11 in Reddick. That's interesting, actually, that's interesting. Uh, seven, no, don't wanna check Capella or Shea or Levine, no thanks. Uh, three, probably the same thing, right? Yeah, okay, no. Don't wanna give up any of my core guys. Uh, let's see, 16, let's see, okay. McCollins, uh for 16. 
in the 2022 second or 2022 first. I like that one. So let's go ahead and take this from the Atlanta Magic, trading McCaw for the 16th pick, and there we go. All right, now I'm going to be sending the pick I just acquired from the Magic to the Atlanta Hawks for the 14th pick in this year's draft. There we go. So we now have picks 14 and 23. Let's see what I can get for these picks in the trade finder because I would like to move up one more time, hopefully into the top 10. Let's see if anything comes up and nothing really too eye-popping uh, in the trade finder. So it looks like I'm going to have to do this myself. So let's go on ahead and actually real quick, let me see. Seven, anything out there for seven? No. Uh, let's see. What about 22? Nothing. Uh, and yeah, okay. So nothing. Let's go ahead and do this manually. See if I can trade into the top 10. So let's see. Uh, let's see. What about uh, eight from Chicago? I know I just gave them Kyle Lowry, but let's see if I can get the eighth pick from them as well. Uh, let's see. These three picks? No. Okay. What about a player? Um, let's see. Any players I can add in? Okay. So I have a lot of expiring deals, so I can't add in any of those guys because we are in the offseason. And I don't think any of these guys are really going to thread the needle too, too much for Chicago. So I may have to end up giving them another first round pick, which I really don't want to do. But you know what? Uh, honestly, screw it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and add in this uh, top three protected pick. Let's see if that will do it for them, and it does. So we now have the eighth pick in the NBA draft. So let's go on. Ahead, let's go on ahead into the NBA draft. Let's see who is out there uh, for this eighth pick before I do anything else. Let's see if anything interesting comes up in the trade finder. Let's see. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay. So nothing really too special. Um, uh, let's see. Anything? Okay. Well, Barn no, but Griffin no, picks no. Uh, Rubio, no. Zach Collins, no. Um, okay, yeah. So nothing interesting here at all. So I'm going to have to pick someone. Choose a prospect. Let's see who is out there. Let me send them my pick. Let's see who's out there at number eight. Let's see who the best player available is. And it is Patrick Williams. Okay, so none of these guys really are too... Uh, eye popping to me. I really don't want any of these guys to be honest with you. So let me see if anything changed in the trade finder. I doubt it, but let's see what's out there for the eighth pick. One more time before I do anything else. Uh, let's see. And it's pretty much the same trades. Miles Bridges, I mean, maybe, but I don't know. I really, it's not really worth it to me, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, okay. So nothing really out here for the eighth pick. I don't want Blake Griffin's huge contract. No thanks. Um, yeah, okay. So we're going to have to uh, select someone. I don't want a shooting guard because I have Zach Levine or Shea Gildas Dogs and Zach Levine already. So let me take uh, Isaac Okoro with the eighth pick in the draft to back up Zach Levine, a small forward. So there we go. Uh, let's see him at the end of the draft because I have no other picks. And let's see what his overall is. Isaac Okoro, let's see. Eighth pick. He's a 76 overall in the NBA draft. Uh, so there we go. Let's sign him to his rookie contract. So now moving on into the rest of the offseason. We have free agency coming up. So here are the team player options. And obviously you see Anthony Davis declined his option. I am going big fish hunting. I want Anthony Davis on this team. And uh, yeah, okay. Extend Chris Boucher's qualifying offer. Um, I think I said his name correctly. Boucher, not Boucher. Um, but let's go on ahead in the free agency. Obviously Anthony Davis is here. I'm going to offer him everything. I can. Um, let's see. So that's uh, most I can offer him. Give, a, give him a no trade clause player option. There we go. DeRozan, I'll offer him a deal. See if he wants to come back to Toronto. Obviously, if AD and DeRozan both accept, I will um, obviously choose AD over DeRozan. Um, let's see. Let me also give Drummond an offer sheet or a contract offer. Let's see if he'll take it. So let's go on ahead. Simulate C and okay. Yes. Okay. I, I don't know why 2K thinks I would take DeRozan over AD, but nevertheless, we are going to be able to sign Anthony Davis joining forces with Clint Capella, Zach Levine, and Shea Gildas Alexander forming a very solid championship contender already before season number one even begins. Uh, yeah, so I can't. I'm probably going to have to renounce a bunch of these guys, which sucks, but honestly, I'd rather have Anthony Davis any, any day of the week. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I can't sign two max guys, uh, which sucks. Who knows? Maybe I can, like, I still have a decent amount of cap room. Uh, if I renounce all these guys like Van Fleet's uh, like the guys like that, maybe I could sign DeRozan and or Drummond. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so let's go ahead and continue on with free agency. So we just signed Anthony Davis, the best free agent on the market, which is obviously a great thing to see something I would like to see. Um, let's see. So yeah, I'm going to have to renounce Van Vliet because I really honestly want to try and get Drummond as well. Uh, I know I already have AD and Capella, but uh, I could flip one of those guys for a uh, star point guard potentially because I need a... Uh, I currently have a hole at point guard because I trade a Lowry away. So let's see. Um, so I can offer Drummond a deal. Let's see if I can... Okay, so it's still... I still, still do not have enough money. So let me try and make some moves here. Uh, let me see what I can get for uh, Clint Capella. See if I can... Uh, let's see, save a little bit of coin here. Chris Middleton, like, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'd rather have Drummond than Chris Middleton. Uh, so let me, let me, you know what, let me, you know what, let me do this. Let me sign AD and see exactly how much money I need, um, 
to uh, spend or to get rid of in order to sign Drummond. So there you, there you go. You see AD officially on the roster. So I need five and a half million dollars to be shed from my roster. Let's see. So Clint Capel, let's see if I can shed five and a half million dollars right here. Let's see what I can do. Uh, Marcus Smart. Ah, oh, man, I really want Marcus Smart, but that's not enough. I could get uh, Adams back, but that's, I don't I want to uh, lose money, not gain money. Uh, Mitchell, oh, yep, there it is. That is the perfect trade right there. Mitchell Robinson and Alfred Payton for Clint Capella. That should be the one right there. Mo Bamba, no thanks. Um, yeah, let's do that because, Chris, uh, what's his name? Mitchell Robinson becomes an extremely high overall if you move him at power forward. And he's only $1.67 million. Let's go ahead and take this from the New York Knickerbockers. Uh, I don't know why I said Knickerbockers. The, the Knicks, uh, that was her old name. But let's go ahead and uh, now trade Alfred Payton for hopefully a pick or a... Uh, Another backup point guard, because that's a lot of money for Alfred Payton, and I want to have enough for Drummond. Uh, DeLon Wright, McConnell, that other one's interesting. Can I get rid of, um, you know, let's see, Hart, uh, Beverly, no thanks. A Kogi, maybe, but I want a point guard, though. Uh, Ish Smith and a pick, possibly. Uh, okay, so I like this one from McConnell, but can I get rid of this pick? And then, okay, no, so I can't do that. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and take that one for Ish Smith. As in a second round pick, let's do that. Save a couple million dollars there. So there we go. Uh, thank you, Wizards, for that trade. So now, so now I have plenty of money, plenty of room to sign Andre Drummond. So let's go ahead and see if he accepts it. And he does, so wow. So we signed Anthony Davis and Andre Drummond in free agency. Two major, major splashes to this team. This team is looking very, very nice. Uh, and we are not even in the start of season number one yet. So this is awesome to see. So we got AD German, Zach Levine, Shea, and Mitchell Robinson uh, as our new core Obviously a contending core right away, but real quick, let's see what I can do for, um, let's see, what about OG Ananobi, because I need a uh, starting point guard, because I'd rather not have Ishmael Smith be my starting point guard, so let's see, none, straight up, that'd be pretty fair in my opinion, that'd be a nice little upgraded point guard, uh, let's see, yeah, tight, no, uh, okay, yeah, let's take this from Miami, OG for Kendrick Dunn, straight up, there it is, um, let's see, what else can I do here, um, what else can I do? Uh, this team's looking really nice, man. It really is. Uh, let me move, let me move, uh, Mitchell Robinson to a power forward so his overall goes up a bunch. Let's see. Yeah, so he's now an 87 overall. That's great to see. Uh, so I still have a few open roster spots. Let me go ahead, um, and sign some more players. Let me sign a, um, another, let's see. Let me sign another point guard. Let me offer Shabazz a contract. Um, UConn legend Shabazz Napier. Let me offer him a contract, a one-year deal. Uh, let me offer, let's see. Uh, okay, so Shabazz accepts it. Let me offer, uh, let's see, Troy Daniels a minimum contract. Let me offer Michael, or uh, Toby Craig. No, what about, let's see, Michael Beasley. Let me offer him a contract. There we go. Michael Beasley accepts. Welcome to the team, Michael Beasley. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, wow, I can bring Ibaka back? Seriously? I thought I renounced his rights. Uh, okay, so wait, hang on. That, okay, okay, hang on. That changes a lot. So now that I have Ibaka back, I can flip Ibaka for a guard uh, because I don't need all this, uh, this many big men. So let me see. Who's out there? Marcus Smart. Oh, my God. I really want Marcus Smart. I really do. I may have to take that, man. Marcus Smart enticement. Oh, I could get Adams back. I could get Adams back, but it's still a lot of money, though, for a backup center. Uh, let's see. Dwight Howard. No. Um, I would like a guard. Like, I, I don't want another big man. I want a guard. Let's see. Beverly. Ooh, Schroeder. Ooh. Schroeder and a first round pick? Wow, I think I'm gonna have to take that one. Uh, Ibaka could send Ibaka back to OKC. Yeah, Ibaka and Michael Beasley for Dennis Schroeder and a first round pick. There we go. So we now have a new starting point guard in Dennis Schroeder. So, and uh, let's see, let me sign. Okay, you know what? No, that's enough players. Here's the roster at the end of free agency, end of the offseason. So finally, after this long offseason, we just completely revamped this entire roster. So let's go on ahead into the side of season number one and see if I can win myself an NBA championship. So one thing about Mitch Robinson that I always tend to forget is that his morale gets very, very low, meaning that once his contract is up, he uh, just doesn't even want to negotiate with us, so I can't re-sign him. So let me see what I can get for him in the trade market. I see this one for MPJ, and what I'm going to do is see if I can try and finesse getting MPJ and Bull Bull from uh, Denver out of this deal. So let me throw in, let's see, let me throw in my uh, prize rookie Isaac Okoro, Mitchell Robinson and Isaac Okoro. And let me throw in two first round picks. Let's see if Denver will take this for MPJ and Bull Bull. Let's see if they'll take it a blockbuster deal potentially if they accept it. And they take it. Wow. So we just acquired two of Denver's main core guys, Michael Porter Jr. and Bull Bull. This team is getting absolutely insane already, and season number one has yet to even begin. Wow, let me go ahead and make Bull Bull a power forward real quick, actually get his overall a little bit higher. 
yeah, oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and take a look uh, at the rotation to start season number one. Here it is. We got Dennis Schroeder and Shea in the backcourt with Levine, AD, and Drummond filling out the rest of the lineup. We got MPJ, Bull Bull, Terrence Davis, and Kendrick Nunn. Unbelievable starting lineup. I cannot believe this team was this good already. Uh, so let's go on ahead and simulate to the end of season number one and see if I can win myself a title and go back to back with the Toronto Raptors. Luca wins the MVP at the end of season number one. Anthony Edwards is Rookie of the Year as a member of the Charlotte Hornets. James Wiseman wins Rookie of the Year for the Denver Nuggets. Kawhi wins Depoy for the Clippers. Tyler Hero wins Most Improved for the Miami Heat. And our coach Nick Nurse for the Raptors goes 62 and 20, winning Coach of the Year. Taking a look at the All NBA teams, we have Anthony Davis making the All NBA first team. That is great to see. Uh, no one on the second team. No one on the third team. Uh, but let's see. AD does make All Defensive first team. That's great to see. Uh, second team, Andre Drummond makes All Defensive second team. And and our rookie teams, let's see. And we have no one on there because I traded away Isaac Okoro. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So we finished first in the Eastern Conference going 62-20. and A uh, seven-game lead on the two-seeded Nets. Uh, taking a look at our stats in the season we got. Let's see. We got, let's see. AD leading the way, averaging 25 points and 10 rebounds. Zach Levine averaging 20, not too far behind with Schroeder. Shea and MPJ all in double figures as well as Bull Bull, Andre Drummond. All doing very, very well. So that's great to see. Um, taking a look at the transaction report on the season, see if anything major happened. Let's see. Um, Gary Harris for Derek Jones. Boogie for Ibaka. So Ibaka gets traded again. Uh, wow, McCollum and a first-round pick for Devin Booker. That is a blockbuster. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and there's our million and seven trades. Okay, wow, that's a lot of trades. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we're taking on the the uh, Orlando Magic in round one. They got Markel Fultz, Alec Burks, Jonathan Isaac, uh, Aaron Gordon, Vucevic, Mo Bamba, Terrence Ross, Saric, uh, Aminu. Okay, so this team is pretty similar to the team in real life. So we should beat them fairly, fairly easily. Let's see if we can do that and then avoid a first-round upset. And, of course, we lose game one. Of course we do. Uh, we lose uh, game one, but we win game two. Uh, we lose game three, so we're down 2-1. This is not looking too great for us, but we tie it up at two. Can, can we go up three to two? Let's see. Yes, we can. Can we beat them off in six games? And yes, we can. So we are now taking on the Philadelphia 76ers in the second round. Taking a look at their team. They got Simmons, Richardson, Harris, uh, Horford, and Bede. They got Luke Kennard on the team. That's, uh, that's very interesting. DJ Augustin is new. Myers Leonard. Okay. Uh, this should be a very interesting series. Let's see if we can come out on top. We win game one. Can we win game two as well? No, we cannot. Can we go up to one? Yes, we can. Can we go up to uh, three one? No, we cannot. Two to two. Uh, can we go up three to two? Yes, we can. Okay, all right. Game seven. Let's sim cast it. Let's see if we can win game seven. This is a rematch of last year's um, or the 2019 uh, second round, and we destroy Philly, winning by 35, 132 to 97. Now in the Eastern Conference Finals, taking on the seven seeded Boston Celtics. Taking a look at their roster, uh, pretty similar to the one in real life. Uh, let's see, they got uh, Reggie Jackson, uh, Taco Falls in the rotation. All right, so. Let's see if we can go on ahead and advance to the NBA Finals. Let's see. So we lose game one, win game two, win game three, lose game four. Uh, okay, wow. Okay, so we're down 3-2. Let's simcast it. Hopefully we can come back from this 3-2 deficit and advance to the Finals. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, down nine. Uh, yeah, we lost, didn't we? Okay, so we lose by 20 points in game six. That is very unfortunate. So we do not win the title in year, in year number one. Uh, we have two seasons to go. Let's see uh, Celtics and Mavs in the Finals. Let's see who comes out on top. And the Boston Celtics win the championship. And Gordon Hayward, wow, Gordon Hayward, finals MVP for the seven seeded Celtics. So, yeah, that's going to wrap season number one. I will see you guys in the offseason. Uh, let's see if I can make any more moves in uh, the offseason. Let's do it. Okay, I am here in free agency, and Giannis and Kawhi are both on the table. However, I am about $27 million shy of offering either of them deals. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to shed some uh, massive salary, and that's going to have to start with Andre Drummond because that is $36 million uh, that I, I'm going to have to shed. Let's see if I can get anything out of it. Wendell Carter, maybe. That's interesting. That's a young guy in a young contract. Uh, PJ Washington, also that's interesting. Um, let's see. Fournier, no. Whiteside, no. Oh, Mo Bamba, that's interesting. Mo Bamba and Aminu. That is interesting because Mobamba can get to a very high overall. He has a lot of potential. Devin Booker, oh man, oh, that's tempting, but no thanks. Uh, Blake Griffin, no. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one from Mobamba and Aminu, but I don't want Aminu. So let me uh, see if I can get uh, a few picks with Mobamba because I am giving them a 90 overall. So, you know, it's only fair. Let's see, a first round pick and a second round pick, Mobamba. For Drummond, let's see if the Orlando Magic will take this trade. Um, hopefully they will because I want to shed that money, and they don't. They have a counter offer. Aminu, no, okay, so I think I'm just going to have to end up taking the original trade and just uh, dump Aminu in a separate trade. So let's go ahead and back in, into the trade finder and find the original deal. 
And here it is, Drummond for Mo Bamba and Alfred Camino. Let's go ahead and accept this deal from the Orlando Magic, shedding a bunch of money. And now I have to go and trade away. Uh, nope, not Mo Bamba. Uh, let me go ahead and trade Alfred Camino. Let's see if I can get some picks for him. And let's see. Uh, yep, from the Clippers. There we go. Two picks. Awesome. Okay. So let's see if I have enough money to offer Giannis and Kawhi deals now. And I do. Okay. If Giannis or Kawhi wants to come here, I'm going to be very, very happy. Let's see if either of them will accept an offer. Let me give both of them exactly what they want. Do I want to offer PG a contract? Not really. Uh, let's see. What else can I do? Um, do I, I bring it on these guys. Okay, so we've got to bring them back as well. Um, let's see. I need some help in the center position. because I just traded away Drummond. And, okay, um... And Bull Bull's a free agent too. Okay, so I okay, that's interesting. But let's go ahead and advance. Let's see if I can get Giannis or Kawhi. And Kawhi wants to come here. Sadly, Giannis is not, but whatever. I will definitely take Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi is coming back to the Toronto Raptors. That is absolutely insane. Kawhi is going to pair up with Anthony Davis. And Giannis goes to the Lakers. Oh my goodness. So Giannis and LeBron James are now on the same team. That is absolutely nuts. Because uh, we took AD from the LA. So it's only right that uh, LA takes Giannis from us. But nevertheless, we are signing Kawhi Leonard back to Toronto. Uh, however, I'm going to have to renounce a bunch of my guys. Pretty much uh, my entire roster who is a free agent. But obviously, I'd rather have Kawhi than any of those guys. Including Bull Bull. I'm sorry, Bull. But you will not be uh, able to come back to the team, unfortunately. Wow. So this team is... Wow. This team is absolutely nuts. We got uh, Kawhi and AD leading the way. I still have a bunch of... Uh, players or uh, player spots opened in free agency i only have seven players currently on my roster um let's see where is bull bull i just want to make sure i can't sign him uh there he is let's see and yeah okay i do not have enough money for him unfortunately that sucks uh let's see let me offer shabazz a contract bring him back to the team even though did i trade him last year i don't even remember but let me offer um let's see will shabazz accept that uh, no, not on day one. Uh, let's see what do i need i need a point guard of any kind I need a backup two guard uh let me actually Hold on, I have a lot of small forwards now. I just realized that because I have Levine, MBJ, and Kawhi. Uh, okay, that's a lot of forwards, actually. So let's see. Uh, I may have to end up trading Levine, honestly. I may have to. What's out there for Zach Levine? Let's see. Uh, Buddy Heald, no. Uh, Okoro, get him back, no. Uh, Kogi, no. Gallo, no. Uh, KPJ, no. Adams, no. Uh, what about Shea? What's out there for Shea? Anything? Uh, Clark, no. Sexton, no. Hero, no. Ah, okay, I really, I have too many small fours now, that, like, that's the problem, and I don't want to move Shea to point guard because his overall will go down, um, let me try and get Kemba Walker, let's see if I can try and get, like, Levine, or trade Levine away for Kemba Walker, let's try and do that, Zach Levine and Kemba Walker and the money won't work, okay, what about if I threw in, oh, I can't throw in any of these guys, so that's not really going to work out, unfortunately, what if I try and got, uh, let's see, uh, I don't know. This is so tough. What about, uh, oh, DeJounte Murray. All right, from the Spurs. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me try DeJounte Murray. Zach Levine for DeJounte Murray straight up. Let's see if they will accept this deal uh, so I can get a nice starting point guard and have Shea as my two guard. And know they want to do it. What if I add in a first-round pick? Levine in the first. And there we go. So trading Zach Levine in the first-round pick to the Spurs for DeJounte Murray. So now we have a nice uh, starting point guard uh, to go along with Shea uh, in the backcourt. So there we go with Kawhi at the three. Uh, so that's nice to see. So let's see. Back in free agency. Let's see. Let me offer Duncan Robinson a contract to back up Shea at the two guard. So Shabazz and Duncan Robinson both accept. So I currently have nine players on the roster. I still need a few more spots. Let me offer Ilya Silva a contract. Let me offer, um, let's see. Who else can I offer? Let me offer, uh, uh, Ronnie Magruder a contract. No, let me do the minimum. There we go. Uh, we got both of them. There we go. So we now have 11 players on the roster. Uh, let's offer... Let's see, uh, Jamichael Green a contract to uh, as our one of our, as one of our backup power forwards. Let's see if he'll accept. Uh, what about Darren Collison for the minimum? Uh, let's see, we got Boban. Obviously, got to sign Boban because why the hell not? Uh, gotta love Boban and you always need him on the roster uh, at all times. There we go. Got uh, got Green, got Collison, and we got Boban. So we now have. 14 players, so that is going to wrap, wrap up this year's offseason. And here's the new and improved roster. We got Kawhi and AD leading the way. Uh, so there we go. Let's go on ahead and uh, simulate to the start of season number two. Okay, here is the current rotation for the start of season number two. Uh, however, I would like to make a slight, slight upgrade at point guard. Uh, let's see if I can, or at backup point guard, I should say. So let me offer uh, Shabazz and Darren Collison into the trade finder. See if anything is out there. Uh, just for a slight upgrade, like for a guy in the 80s. George Hill, potentially Alfred Payton, maybe. 
Um, let's see. Robert Williams, no. Shamit, no. Uh, Scal, no. Vonley, no. No, no, no. Devon Wright, no. Boucher, no. Um, oh, McConnell, that's not that's not bad from the Spurs. Um, Akogi, no. Burke, no. Okay, so George Hill, maybe. He's just kind of old. 35 is a little bit uh, on the older side for an NBA player. So let's go ahead and take this one for TJ McConnell from the San Antonio Spurs, who I just gave Zach Levine, ironically enough. Let's go ahead and take this from the Spurs, getting a slight upgraded backup point guard. And real quick, I want to see if I can get a slight upgraded backup shooting guard. So let me offer uh, out, uh, let's see, where is he? Duncan Robinson and Jamichael Green, so I don't really need Jamichael Green on the team. So let me offer them up, see if I can get a slight upgrade to the backup shooting guard position. Let's see. Um, and if, and if it's not there, if nothing's there, I'm not going to be too, too upset because Duncan Robinson is perfectly fine with me as my backup. Uh, I don't see anything too crazy out there, so I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Yeah, so here is the uh, current rotation. We got DeJounte Murray, Shea uh, in the backcourt with Kawhi, AD, and Mobama in the frontcourt. Absolutely insane. Off the bench, we got MPJ, Duncan Robinson, Daniel Gafford, and let me, wait, I need a ninth man. Hang on, let me, uh, let me, let, let me uh, adjust that real quick. Uh, there we go. There's the rotation. So hopefully uh, I, can, I can win a title this year. So let's go on ahead and simulate to the end of season number two and see if I can make amends from last year and, and win myself a title in year number two. Luka Doncic wins back-to-back -back MVPs, averaging 35, 10, and 10, and near triple-double in season number two. Kay Cunningham wins Rookie of the Year as a member of the, let's see, Chicago Bulls. Um, Jalen Johnson wins six man as a member of the Milwaukee Bucks. A AD, our man, wins deep point for obviously the, the uh, Toronto Raptors. Kendrick Nunn, our former point guard, wins most approved for the uh, Detroit Pistons. And Rick Carlisle, coach of the Mavericks, wins coach of the year. Let's take a look at the All-NBA teams. AD makes first team. That's great to see. Um, let's see. And no one on second team, but Kawhi Leonard does make the All-NBA third team. As you see, Pascal Siakam for the Thunder makes All-NBA third team. Uh, looking at the, at the All-Defense teams, AD makes the first team and Kawhi makes the second team. And our rookie teams, we have no one on there so as you can see we finished uh second second in the eastern conference going 55 and 27 a seven game a decrease from last season but nevertheless still a top two seed in the east which is fine with me taking a look at the stats on the season we got ad, AD leading the way averaging 26 and 10 with Kawhi not too far behind as well as shea and fbj averaging 16 a piece so taking a look at the transaction report on the season see if anything Major happened around the league. Let's see. White side for Terrence Davis. We got, uh, okay, nothing too great. Oh, Jermon Green for Lowry. So Lowry is now on the Warriors. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're taking on the New York Knicks in the first round. And taking a look at their team. They got LaMelo Ball, Evan Fournier, Kelly Ibra Jr., Julius Randle, Clint Capella, our former center, uh, Bobby Portis, Kevin Knox. Okay, so let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and simulate. See if I can beat them in the first round and advance to round number two. We win game one. Uh, we lose game two, tied up at one. Can we win game three, go up 2-1? No, we cannot. So we're down 2-1 once again in the first round. Uh, we tied up at two. Can we go up 3-2? Uh, let's see. Yes, we can. Can we beat them off in six games? Yes, we can. Okay. So now taking on the Chicago Bulls in the second round. Take a look at their roster. They got Alfred Payton, Kate Cunningham, Otto Porter. They got Giannis, who I... Okay, wait. Didn't Giannis go to the Lakers? Did, I get, did, did, Gian, did uh, Giannis back out and go to the Bulls? Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Lakers fans, but Giannis is now on the Bulls. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can beat Giannis in round number two. We lose game one, but we win game two. Uh, win game three. Can we go up with three games to one? No, we cannot. Tied it two. And we go with 3-2. Can, can we beat them off in 6? Yes, we can. So now taking on the Orlando Magic in the Eastern Conference Finals, the number 4 seed. Taking a look at their roster, they got uh, R.J. Barrett, who left the Knicks. They got Aaron Gordon. Oh, yeah, they have Drummond, who I traded uh, Mo Bamba for. Uh, they got Vucevic. They got Cody Zeller, Malik Beasley. So hopefully Drummond does not get his revenge on us uh, for trading him, and hopefully we can beat them and go to the NBA Finals. And we're down 2-0. Uh, make that 3-1. Wow, okay. So we're down 3-1 in the Magic. That's not ideal. Um, let's simulate to the uh, end of Game 5 with Simcast. Let's see. It's close. We're down seven. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, so we lost uh, we lose in five games to the Orlando Magic. That is very disappointing. And is Mavs Magic in the NBA Finals? Let's see who comes out on top. Uh let's see. 2-1 Magic, 2-2, two, two. uh, 3 2 Mavericks, and Game 7. And the Dallas Mavericks win in Game 7. Luka wins five as MVP. So yeah, we fail once again to win a title. I have one season left to do it. Uh, wow, okay, so let's go on ahead and simulate to the offseason of season number two and get ready for season number three and try and win a championship one more time.
Hey, so I'm here in free agency. Uh, so far in the offseason, nothing major has happened. All I've really done is just uh, offered Shea his rookie max extension. So let's go on ahead and offer these guys uh, contracts. We got DeLon Wright bringing him back to Toronto. Let's offer Corey Joseph a contract. Uh, let's see. Uh, will, Corey Joseph, will Corey Joseph come to the team? Let's see. MCW, I don't have enough money for him, unfortunately. Let's see if I can get Corey Joseph, though. And yes, I can. So welcome back to the Raptors, Corey Joseph, as well. Uh, let me offer, let's see. Wait, what do I need? I need a backup power forward because I only have AD right now. So let me offer... Uh, Aminu a contract, bring him back to the team after I traded him after acquiring him last season uh, in the Andre Drummond trade. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for free agency, and let's go on ahead into the start of season number three. Okay, so the only trade I'm going to be making in season number three is trading DeLon Wright for Jeremy Grant straight up, just because I need a legit backup power forward, because uh, Alfred Camino is not going to cut it for me. So here is the rotation to start the third and final season. Same starters last year with Murray, Shea, Kawhi, AD, Mobamba. Off the bench, we got MPJ, Jeremy Grant, Doug Robinson, Daniel Gafford. So let's go on ahead and simulate to the end of the third and final season and see if I can win myself an NBA championship. Nikola Jokic wins the Most Valuable Player Award for the Denver Nuggets, averaging 21 points, 12 rebounds, and 9 assists per game on the season. Shamari Pons wins Rookie of the Year as a member of the Brooklyn Nets. Tyrese Halliburton wins Sixth Man of the Year for the Sacramento Kings. Giannis wins Depoy as a member of the Chicago Bulls. Anthony Edwards wins Most Improved for the Charlotte Hornets. And Nick Nurse, our coach, wins Coach of the Year going 66-16. and 16. Taking a look at the All-NBA teams, we have known on the first team. However, AD does make the second team. Third team, we have known, so Kawhi does not make it, but DeJounte Murray and AD both make the all defense first team uh, second team we have no one so Kawhi does not make that either wow that is very surprising and we have no one on the rookie teams so as you can tell we uh, we are the top seed in the east once again just like season number one we went 66 and 16 an 11 game lead on the two seeded Charlotte Hornets uh, taking a look at the stats on the season, we got AD, AD leading the way, averaging 23-9 and nine with Shea and Kawhi, uh, averaging 20 apiece, MBJ at 19, DeJounte Murray 14-6. and six. So very nice numbers all around from the team, from our core guys. Uh, taking a look at the transaction report, see if anything major happened on the year. Uh, let's see, anything too crazy, d for Paul Millsap, Buddy Hill for Tristan Thompson. Um, let's see, nope, that's pretty much it, and there's our trade. Okay, so we're taking on the, the uh, Detroit Pistons in round number one. They got Dennis Schroeder, our former starting point guard, who's now an A7 overall. We got Miles Bridges. Uh, let's see. Montrez Harrell. OG, our former small forward. Moutier. Okay, let's see if we can beat them in round one. I want to win a championship. This is uh, literally now or never. This is the last season. See if I can do it. We win game one, lose game two. Can we go up to one? Yes, we can. Can we go up three to one? Uh, yes, we can. Can we finish them off in five games? Let's see. And yes, we can. So a nice gentleman sweep in round one. Uh, now taking on the Philadelphia 76ers in round two. Let's see, they got Ben Simmons, Matisse Thibel, Harris, uh, Kavanaugh, and Embiid, Shake Melton, Daniel Tice. They still have Al Horford, who's way low in their rotation now. Uh, let's simulate the round, see if we can advance to the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. We lose game one, lose game two. Oh, no, please don't do it to me. Okay, down 2-1. Can we tie it up at two, please? Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, 3-2 us. Yes, can we beat them in six? Yes, we can. Okay, so we come back from a 2-0 deficit. Now taking on the um, Chicago Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals. Giannis' Bulls with Cade Cunningham. Uh, they got Wendell Carter Jr., uh, Laurie Markin, Otto Porter, Kali Stein, Alec Burks. Let's simulate the round see if I can advance to the NBA Finals for the first time in this video and we're up 2-0 up 3-0 and wow we just sweep the uh, MVP uh, or no the deep uh, yeah MVP and deep boy Giannis Taking on now the Memphis Grizzlies in the NBA Finals. They got Ja, Jaron Jackson, Jonas Valanciunas, Clark, Whiteside. Right, they got D-Rose. Okay, so we are better than this team. We should win very, very easily. Let's see what happens. Up 2-0, up 2-1, and okay, all right. We're one win away. One win away from a championship. Come on, 2K. Please, God, give this to me. Please. And wow, okay, we're getting blown out in Game 5. Okay, so Memphis forces a Game 6 in Memphis. Come on, see if we can do it in Memphis, please. It is close. Uh, okay, we're up 5, up... Okay, this is really... Okay, up 7... Up five, up, okay, uh, okay, you know, I'm hopping in. Up by three, 44 seconds left. <laughs> the championship clinching game. Let's see if I can hold on and win myself a championship in season number three, the third and final season. Um... Oh, man, this is very intense, man. This is really, really tense. <laughs> I really want this team to win a title. This is one of the best teams I, I have ever built uh, in my league in general. So I'm very, very excited for this team. I really want this team to win a title. Let's go on ahead and hop in. But real quick, let me uh, fix the settings real quick. Because 2K uh, always puts in a really weird lineup real quick. Let me, uh, as you can see, it's on Hall of Fame. But let me turn off the commentary volume because that is just not necessary. Let's see what lineup 2K has in. They have, uh, let's see. Actually, I will honestly take that. That's a nice small ball lineup. So let's go on ahead and inbound the ball. We fortunately have the ball, so we get it into DeJounte Murray. Let's see what we can do here. See if I can get a bucket and potentially put the dagger in Memphis' heart. Let's set a pick and roll of Kawhi and AD. Let's see uh, Kawhi pulling up off the screen. Please go in, and it doesn't, of course. Why? What the? It wouldn't let me get the rebound. What the, what the heck? Okay. 
I need to stop. Please, God, no threes. No, don't go in. Please, Dylan Brooks. Okay, he missed it. Kawhi gets the rebound, and he gets fouled. We are in the bonus. Kawhi is going to the line to shoot two. A very huge free throws, and he green lights the first one, putting us up for two possession game. And let's see. And he greens the second one as well, so we are now up 119 to 114. Memphis calls their final timeout. Uh, Memphis is now on the edge of their, uh, I don't know, uh, on the edge of their seat. I almost said edge of their seat. I don't know what I'm talking about, but Memphis is on. Uh, they have one final shot, really, to uh, keep this game alive. If, they, if, they, if I get a stop here, it is pretty much all said and done. Player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, I don't know why 2K always has player of the game before the game ends, but it's whatever. No big deal. Uh, my focus here is to get a stop. Let's see what I can do. Uh, they inbound it to Valanciunas. Let's see. They need a three, really. I mean, they don't need one, but that would help. Let's see. Into John Morant. Let's see what John Morant's going to do. I uh, double him. Let me, uh, let's see. Into Dylan Brooks. What? Wh where was the foul? Where was the foul? What? Oh my God. Give me a break, 2K. That is absurd. But what? <laughs> okay. So Dylan Brooks is getting the three, the three points the hard way. Let's see if he can make the free throw and complete the three-point play. And he does win out only by two. Let me get this ball into Kawhi Leonard once again, because he has ice in his veins, and he, let's see, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Uh, okay, all right, so 10.9 seconds to go. Kawhi is going back to the free throw line for two huge free throws, and let's see, uh, okay, so he makes the first, we're up by three. Come on, Kawhi, put us back up by two possessions. Let's see, and he does, okay. So we're up 121, 117, 10.9 seconds left, one more stop, and we are NBA champions. Please just get this stop, 2K, please, please, please. Let's see, Valentino for three, no way. Okay, that's in and out, rebound. Uh, into Shea's hands, into uh, Corey Joseph, into Kawhi, and that will do it. The Toronto Raptors are NBA champions once again. I complete the challenge. I won a championship in, in the three-year window. So that's going to wrap up this rebuild. I'm very excited to see how TKE's video turned out. This was a lot of fun to do. This is my very first YouTube collaboration. This was a lot of fun for me. Uh, thank you, TKE, for the opportunity. This was a very great uh, an exciting time for me. I really uh, i am looking forward to seeing how your video turns out. I um, can't wait to go watch it. Um, so yeah, we win the championship in season number three, the third and final season, uh, after building a very nice super team, starting from scratch. I guess not from scratch, but starting with Siakam and Lowry, turning into a team that involves AD, Kawhi Leonard, that whole spiel with Shea, DeJounte Murray, Mo Bamba, etc., etc. So there's a championship celebration, and it looks like uh, Kawhi won finals MVP as he's holding the trophy. And here comes my absolute favorite part of every single uh, uh, celebration. These locker room pictures, they are just so funny to me because they just make no sense. They look so... Um, I don't know, just, <laughs> they're just really funny. Look, look look at that, look at how funny that looks. Mo Bamba holding the trophy, looking hilarious. Nice little squad pick there. Um, it looks like MPJ's head's uh, cut off in the background. So let's take a look at the final stats in the season. We got John Morant leading the way from Memphis. We got Shea leading us in scoring. Kawhi not too far behind. Uh, there's AD with only 10 points. Wow, that is very surprising, but we got the W nonetheless. Winning the NBA championship. Uh, Toronto's second NBA championship, if you include the one in 2019 that Kawhi brought them in real life. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's going to wrap it up for this rebuild. Like I said earlier, uh, I completed the challenge. Won Toronto a title after trading away Pascal Siakam. Kawhi is your finals MVP. Um, here it is. Here is the final roster. So like I said, go check out TKE's video. See how he turned out with this challenge. See who uh, ended up with the better team. See who won more championships. Uh, like I said, I will link his video in the description. Uh, and if you made it this far in this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, give this video a like as well. Subscribe to my channel. Sub to TKE's channel if you have not already. And that's going to wrap it up for me. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.